As night falls, the national park fills with new sounds. In an area with so much moisture, amphibians find a perfect habitat in which to evolve, and although the majority remain invisible during the daylight hours, the nocturnal obscurity brings them out of their hiding places. Between the months of March and April, the common toads gather in the ponds and small lagoons to mate. They are terrestrial animals throughout the year, but when the mating season arrives, they approach the water, observing an astonishing loyalty to the same places year after year. Mating is auxiliary and can last from eight days to a fortnight. The females, who lay up to 7,000 eggs, lay them in the water, leaving a string of black eggs, which will hatch between two weeks and 18 days later. The mammals have colonized the park's different ecosystems from the summits to the fertile inner valleys. The changes brought about by man in some of these ecosystems have depleted or moved the most specialized species, while others, such as the fox, have been transformed into survival specialists. The fox is the carnivore best equipped to survive the changes due to its adaptability, well-developed psyche, and high reproduction rate. It has finely tuned sensors and is extraordinarily intelligent, which is why it settles in all the park's habitats, from the deciduous forests to the meadows of the subalpine stratum at an altitude of between 1,700 and 2,300 meters. The great majority of the large mammals live or depend on the deciduous forest. There are more food resources among its depths and the lush vegetation provides a shelter where they can hide from predators. The herbivores, such as this roe deer, rove frequently on the boundary between the forest and the meadows, enjoying the nourishing grasses of the latter, but without straying from the sheltering forest. Also making their way to the meadows are the chamois, or robethos, as the locals call them. Midway between a goat and an antelope, the chamois is the lord and master of the Cantabrian peaks. There are nine different subspecies in Europe, two of which live in northern Spain, one in the Cantabrian mountain range and the other in the Pyrenees. While the subspecies in the Alps or Carpathians reach weights of between 50 and even 60 kilos, the Spanish subspecies are smaller and generally don't exceed 35. While the majority of herbivores seek protection in the forest when they feel threatened, the chamois adapted to life on the summits flee to rocky places and take refuge on the escarpments where no predator can reach them.